It's time we gave this room a serious makeover. I'm a firm believer that having a functional, comfortable environment to work in is key to the success of keeping a positive and productive attitude towards work. Seeing as I both need to work and live in this space, it's absolutely not up to scratch for me. The game shelf is overflowing with lots of games slotted in to any empty space I can find. The other white shelf here is full of items with lots of sentimental value, stuff given to me as gifts, or just other crap I've got no other room for. It looks really cluttered and unwelcoming in the background of every video. It's chaotic and I really don't like it. Last year, this room became so full of stuff that I literally had to pick up piles of games and boxes and a bunch of other stuff and move it into a spare room so this place could be clean to film Tony Hawktober. And all of this stuff just stayed in the other room while I continued adding to it. You can even see the stack of 100 games or so we've tested over the past few months, waiting for the series to be finished. And then once that's done, I can finally organise them all. But even if I only keep one of these for the collection, where would I even put it? It's not good, and I've developed a lot of unproductive habits in recent months, partly as a result of not having a functional space for all of my shit. So, as I'm working to get back into a strong routine, the first step of that is hitting the reset button on this room. First things first, it's hard to take a workplace seriously if you're also sleeping in it, so to start things off, I emptied everything out of this spare room to make way for a bed. Some of you may remember the 2016 classic, What's Under My Bed? Well, consider this the official sequel to that video. Honestly, it's all mostly the same stuff. Old Lego, train sets and spare shelves. But this time around, I'm also making a strong effort to throw things away and organise what I do have. I've had an old, broken school computer under my bed, hoarded away for when I want to smash a computer in a video, but it's time this shit was thrown away. Some people may think I have a bit of a hoarding complex, which is definitely true. However, I'm not shy to throw things away. My problem is that I see stuff and think, oh, I could use that for a video. But then it never gets used and eventually means I've had a dirty PC lying around for the past three years without any good reason. So with all this shit sorted and cleaned, time to move all of the other junk from the spare room back into this room because that's enough work for one day and I can't leave this shit floating around the house. Which means everything has to be moved back out of the room on day two to make way for some new shelves. For those who follow me on Instagram, where I show off my latest game pickups and such, way back in May of 2018, I actually bought two more shelves exactly the same as the two I already own, ready to make more space for games. Yes, this room change has taken 10 months to actually happen, it's insane. The plan is to use the extra space where I'd normally sleep to create a super large game shelf to house everything. We haven't built one of these since 2017, so fucking welcome back. I quite often get asked where I get these shelves. Honestly, they're a generic no-brand item that is sold by a whole bunch of different places. Just search 500 DVD slash 1000 CD shelf and you'll find items very similar. Some can be a bit shorter or a little wider, but thankfully all of mine are identical. I'll never stop praising these shelves, I do love them. So much versatility and so easy to put together. The next step after that is to empty off the white shelf and clear all the walls. And with everything out of the way, it's time to speed run building the second shelf. This one went together in half the time, so if you'd like to hire me to build your shelves, I'm available most weekends for the low cost of $12 per hour plus $800 shipping and handling. I can get to most countries for that with enough change left over for an ice cream and a new game. Now that I've got the extra shelf space, I might actually have room to start buying games again. But this is where things start to get wild. Everything has to come off of this shelf and be placed in the exact same position on the floor.
I like to have everything in alphabetical order. You can thank the OCD for that, but it also helps to keep track of everything when you've got this many games. So with that done and the third shelf dragged over, I cut a hole at the bottom so I can still access the PowerPoint and voila, the construction is complete. Fun fact, this third shelf on the far right is actually the original, the very first of these shelves I ever built, and placing it on the end here, it's in the exact same position as it started in. How's that for some fucking nostalgic memories? Now we're up to day three of the operation, the final and possibly most arduous task of the entire job. Organising all of the fucking games. Man, holy shit, you're gonna see a lot of me just standing around here looking confused. I promise this is not surveillance footage from my padded cell, it's just such a mind bender trying to figure out this giant puzzle. Starting with the PS2 games, as it's what I own the most of by far, I started in the middle of the shelf. Thankfully, with half of the previous shelf still in order, I can easily teleport alphabetical sections over to the new shelf, giving everything a quick clean in the process. Knowing that I also have a solid amount of PS2 games waiting to go on the shelf, I made sure to leave plenty of room for more. That's something I really needed with this new shelf, was room to grow. It's a pain in the ass buying a single game and having to redo the entire shelf, so I did my best to spread everything out. For systems like the GameCube and Wii, two systems I don't buy games for very often, these didn't need as much space. While systems like the Xbox 360, I underestimated how much I already own and had to do my best to save plenty of space for further expansion. But as you'll quickly start to see, as the PS1 and various other games start to find their home, you'll see that this shelf retains the same general layout it always has done since I upgraded to two shelves in 2017. The Crash and Tiny figures are in the same space, handheld games on the far right have plenty of room to grow, and the various Nintendo cartridge systems still sit here in the middle. I would have liked these to have a little more space, but I don't buy a whole lot of these games because they're just too expensive, so it'll take longer before these run out of room. Now as always, the Atari 2600 shit gave me way too much trouble. Since the loose carts are too small for even sections, and some of the complete in-box games need the most amount of space, I always have a hard time getting everything to fit. But after a bit of work, I got everything set up in the corner here. Finally, the top section of this big boy is again, very similar to how it always has been. The Sega stuff is lacking space, but I rarely ever pick up Mega Drive games, so it'll be fine for now. And along with the PS3 and PS4 stuff, there is room in all of these sections for more games. And if I need it, I can always remove the PS1 screen or some other stuff to make space for more games. And just to fill out this last area, my new but quickly growing PSP collection is finally up on display. As for all of these bottom sections, I'm keeping these as free as possible for further expansion. Should I run out of room up above, I can easily fit another two rows of PS2 size shelves or three rows of PS1, NES, SNES, N64, DS or Game Boy games. So it leaves me with a lot of extra space. But until then, I figured I may as well throw in some other stuff just to have on display, such as my old game magazines and comics, along with various other items. I'll talk a bit more about this in an upcoming tour video. And at last, we've got this fourth shelf, which looks lonely and stupid on its own. With the extra space in this corner, I'll be looking to get a bigger desk, as I've got no room on this one. Plus, it's old and fucked. I've had this piece of shit since 2007, and it shows. The state of it. I've played many games, eaten many meals, and watched many online videos sat right here and I can't wait to get rid of it for something with more space that's not literally falling apart. But that's for another day. 
Right now, I just tried to fill as much stuff onto this remaining shelf as neatly as possible. Since my computer is close by, all of my physical computer games fit a lot better over here. Again, I don't buy too many of these, so they'll be comfortable for a while. I've also got all my old DVDs, which is kind of weird. I really don't watch much physical media anymore. I was never a big movie guy. I definitely don't collect movies or anything. These are all just from my childhood, either stuff that was given to me or I bought with my own money as a kid. The rest of this shelf is just random display items, cheat books and demo discs, figures, boxed items and all that sort of stuff. Like I said, I'll go into more of the specifics in a later video, but that about does it. What started as a clusterfuck bedroom slash game room slash YouTube room has finally started to transform into an amazing workspace. My own personal office, how do you like that? It's not done yet, it still needs a new desk, a new TV unit, some better storage solutions and a couch or a chair for me to sit on. That'll be great. I associate my computer chair with work and I haven't had anything else to sit on since the macho man destroyed my previous seat. The pile of garbage it was. So now that all the other garbage is gone, I'll actually have the space for something new. I'll also have more room for green screen work, which will be great, but I think most importantly, I can finally invest in a couple of studio lights and a mic stand, things to help up the production quality of videos I didn't previously have the room for. So while there is still some work to be done and new additions to be made down the track, all in all, this has been a great motivator and an amazing reset button for both the channel and myself. I'm keen to start working on reviews so you can expect to see them coming soon, along with a room and collection tour video. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share. I'm Square Eye Jack and I hope you have a great fucking day. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>